I'm Nong Tu. I'm in NTU now, studying mechanical engineering. I'm Hui Yuan, studying in Renaissance engineering. I'm Zheng Xun. Uh, I'm entering uni uh, next month. I'll be studying computer science in NTU. So far, it's been quite a roller coaster, I say. A lot of ups and downs, and we learned a lot, and then we also met a lot of cool people. It was filled with a lot of emotions. I started off feeling really inspired and excited, but as we progressed, it started getting more draggy and dreadful. But uh, starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, so towards the end now, I'm feeling more hopeful. In this Unglobal Challenge, every day is different. So going into a day, we have no idea what to expect or what challenges we'll face. I guess I'll start by explaining. Like the first few weeks were pretty smooth for me because we were able to meet expectations. But a few weeks in, we we got stuck at a certain idea, and so we felt really hopeless and uh, we couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. So sort of getting out of a rut, like a rabbit hole. So um, how did we overcome it? Yes, it was true. Just being comfortable in that in the unknown, being in the unknown, and then persevering through to eventually find some solution to it. This came like in waves, I feel. We face this what we call as roadblocks. Um, Big Nan, one of the human libraries, he talked about how roadblocks are actually self-imposed. Because the path taken is actually paced by myself. So the action to take is really to review the goals and see what's the next, next better course of action. Yeah, there was one phase in the internship uh, where we actually set our goal for the week. Uh, but then day by day, somehow the more we worked on it, the further and further away we shift from the goal. So emotionally, it was uh, quite bad. About how we overcame it, uh, somehow in those defeated moments, right, uh, I learned like I shouldn't be afraid to ask for help from teammates and peers when I need to. And this translated to encouragement and like inherent motivation for me to press on. So I think this internship was done completely virtually and even over such a platform, we were able to meet like a lot of clients, C-suite level people. So that was a really interesting experience and it definitely made me more open to meeting new people, discussing new concepts and just generally being more exploratory in terms of ideas. Management of emotions as well as in projects. So I learned how to work smarter by resetting and reviewing goals to achieve. Uh, probably at the end of each week, always having the end goal in mind. So it is about not just doing something blindly, but uh, having a sight, like knowing what problem is it you're trying to solve. Uh, it has definitely taught me more about myself. Uh, it has stretched my mind. Um, like before I joined the internship, uh, I tend to like focus on one thing and then I like, drill and dive down into it. But like, after going through 10 weeks of countless critique sessions and discussions, right, there's this feeling like it's, what I've done is kind of fertile or not up to standard. Like, cause there are a lot of cases where you are shot down, uh, so it's demoralizing lot. But however, I feel like I've grown in seeing the bigger picture, like knowing where to see the bigger picture and like also not being absorbed by the little failures along the way. Like. Yeah, so the whole idea of like being a newcomer in a, in a space and being unafraid to tackle challenges which you might not be familiar with, I think that's definitely a huge takeaway that I will bring to any future places is to fearlessly try and solve problems that matter even if it may be outside your uh, field of expertise. Mm, I think I mentioned like having to reset goals along the way. Uh, I think that's an important takeaway that is um, you no know, you have to always understand what's the problem you're trying to solve and I think the other thing is like uh, what I learned about this pain and struggle it's only necessary for you to grow, I guess. <laughs> like to be pushed out of the comfort zone, to fail, to try new things, yeah. And I think moving forward, it's like, it's a dare, it's sort of a dare to self, like, you know, putting yourself out in the uncomfortable zone. <laughs> and I think an another thing is also like, how do I keep going in times of pains and struggles? It's always to remember why you came here. Or like, why do you sign up for this? Yeah. Uh, pace yourself throughout a journey uh, to avoid burnout. Because the journey, it might not be a smooth sailing one. Like, in, and, it was, uh, and it also may not be short. Yeah.